The UK Research and Education Center at Princeton continues to operate in recovery mode after the tornado. Yet, the sun did shine on the recent open house for those who wanted to come and see the temporary offices and laboratories. Well, good morning. We're so glad you all are here today. Uh, appreciate everybody that's, that's out here today. You know, in 1925, the original acreage at this station was dedicated by farmers and some other citizens in Western Kentucky to the University of Kentucky. And at that dedication, Dean Thomas Poe Cooper was quoted as saying, West Kentucky is progressive and it will attain great heights with this new station here. This farm has in it the soul of these people. And we're almost a century later, we stand at a, a junction of having gone through great devastation and at the same time looking forward to some great promise. The soul of our people, the soul of Kentucky, is elemental to this farm. It is embedded in this soil. It is our responsibility to continue. The work done here by remarkable researchers and farmers has advanced West Kentucky, and it's advanced the entire Commonwealth, and indeed the world. So this morning we had the president stop by and um, before the opening remarks, he um, was able to tour our facilities and talk to staff here on site. And so we're starting back right now. And I don't know if y'all noticed the greenhouse for tobacco is going up as mm -hmm. we speak. And so that's really exciting. That's our first rebuild. Um, the equipment sheds, about seven of them should be going up, um, hopefully in the next month. And the demo package has been awarded um, to finish out the foundations. And so we hope in the next, you know, um, two months, this place is gonna look even much more different. The initial, per what we were calling the perimeter fence was about five miles. And it um, pretty much is done. There's one wet spot, but we're gonna call it done. And they're moving to the interior fence, which is about six miles. And so they're halfway done and, and that's a really big project. When I first came here in 2001, I was Associate Dean for Research, and Dean Smith told me that I was responsible for uh, helping take care of this station here. And so it wasn't very long that I came and met everybody. I was struck by the family atmosphere. I was also struck by the dedication to serving our farmers and other clients. And the hard-hitting science that you do, the respect that the scientists command with the producers has been amazing. In 2019, we celebrated the grand opening of the Grain and Forage Center of Excellence. The REC and the Grain and Forage Center are interdependent, each supporting the other with shared space, faculty, and operational staff. We said then that it was an investment in the future of agriculture and still firmly believe in the work being done here to promote production, sustainability, and training. The turnout included stakeholders, county agents, farmers, local media, and UK personnel. Be sure to attend the upcoming events at the Center in 2023.